What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Technotips ASP.NET MVC tutorial. So this is part 58 of this video series and part 5th for repository pattern. Here I'm going to demonstrate about how to set up generic repository and unit of work in your data access layer or repository layer. Okay, so let's get started. So in your entity framework, you might be familiar with the DB set or the DB context. In DB set, generally we have these methods add, remove, find, fear, attach, any, or etc. In DB context, we have this method save changes on uh, the DB set. All right, so the save changes is going to commit all the changes that are made under the current context of the database. All right, so here you can see in part 14, we have created this example like uh, we created the instance of the database and then instance of this employee object and here you can see db context dot employees here the employees is your db db set that is database set and you can perform these action that is add remove find fear or attach any all right and then we were passing the employee object inside this so we have just made the changes and now it's time to commit the changes so using db context dot save changes we are going to actually save all the changes that are made under the uh, current context of the database so so in previous tutorial we have created this layer business layer domain layer data access layer we also added the entity framework in our project so here you can see our project view so here we have the business layer domain layer repository layer and in repository layer if you see that we have added the entity framework that is mvc tutorial entities and now in this tutorial we are going to add the generic repository methods so for that you need to create these folder like infrastructure folder inside that you need to create the contract folder in contract folder we are, uh, you are going to create these interfaces like ibase repository a unit of work and in infrastructure folder you are going to create these two concrete classes that is going to implement these impl uh, interfaces all right so here in ibase repository we are using these methods single or default get all insert update delete exist and if you notice that these methods are the generic one all right but at the back end here you can see this example see the insert method requires the class as a parameter and it is also using the db set dot add see this method add method that we see uh, that we have seen earlier here you can see employees dot add the same we are using here at the backend entity and finally here the, your in in your unit of work we have defined the db context and the db context that has the save changes method here you can see the unit of work dot db dot save changes that is actually going to commit all the changes back to the database all right so I have provided all the code on my blog you can go there and copy that okay let's go to the visual studio and let's check out so in previous tutorial we have created the repository layer and entity framework all right we added the entity framework in under the repository layer and in our business layer we have created the concrete classes and there we were call we were creating the instance of this context see mvc entity con container here you can see in your when you add your entity framework then you can see this app config file here here you can copy this connection string name with this name you can create your instance so db context you, you have created this instance and using this with this db set here you can see db set here you can see db set ashish and now you can perform any action on that you can select you can add or whatever let's say dot add all right 
so all methods you you can access now our main motive is to create the repository layer uh, sorry generic repository so for that you can see here I have created in, an in infrastructure folder inside that I have this contract folder where I have defined two interfaces and this is my concrete classes which is inside this folder okay so what you need to do just you need to visit this blog you can see in previous tutorial we were displaying some record from this here employee record so this was the output okay so go to the blog and here you can see part 58 I already have put all the code and either you can you can read all these you know steps see if you want to know how to create a business layer or domain layer okay so this is the data access layer so here you can see we have created infrastructure folder contract and then these and I have put all the code here and this is your ibase repository code you just need to copy that and paste in it in your project all right this is the code for unit of work and then this is your base repository which is your concrete class and finally you will need to copy the unit of work all right so two interfaces and two concrete class you need to create so let's go to i base repository and here you will find these methods like what we have seen here single or default get all insert update delete exist apart from that we will have more methods also we will have we will see in this base repository class so we have single or default it's going to uh, yeah you need to pass the where condition with uh, using by using lambda expression all right so we have the get all get all with where condition and then we have the insert where we were passing the entity entity is your like your entity class yeah, that that is your like employee class so you will pass employee class then it will return the employee class all right so you have update delete everything and inside your unit of work we have defined the DB context like what we shown here DB context all right and now in the base repository let's first check out the unit of work here so unit of work here if you notice that we were implementing the I disposable that's why we can see one more method here that is I disposable we are nothing to do with this so here is our DB context so here you can see we have created the constructor so here we have defined our DB context if you don't know how to where to copy this so you can generally move to this app config and copy this okay and here we have created into the constructor we have created the instance of this deep database context all right and we have just assigned it to d this DB all right so once the instance of unit work will be created so by default the DB context instance will be created that's it so this is your unit of work and you need to go to the base repository all right so base repository is going to implement i base repository here we can see one two three four five six seven eight eight methods and apart from these eight method we also have some other methods defined here all right now let's first come to the constructor so here you can see it is implementing ibase repository and where we have defined the t should be the class all right and uh, we have the i unit of work and db set we have a declare here and then 
the base repository we need to pass the instance of the unit of work so in our business layer we will pass the instance of business uh, unit of work and here once the unit of work instance will be created we are ready to go all right so if if the unit of work instance will be now then we are going to raise an exception which is argument null exception all right so here you can see these methods so these methods are for select and then this is for insert this is for update this is for delete this is for exist and you can count you can do pagination you can execute procedure and then let's check out this method so single or default it requires the where condition as a parameter and at the back end see uh, it using the DB set dot where condition the same we were passing the where condition and then first of uh, first or default it will return the first record that are matched to the where condition all right so DB set will have these methods add remove find where attach all right so similarly we have this insert method which is the generic one we need to pass the class name here and it's going to use the DB set dot add at the class and finally using the unit of work we have defined the DB context inside our unit of work you can go to the definition here you can see DB context here and it has the save changes method which will actually save all the changes reflect back to the database okay so it's going to commit all the changes so similarly you can have all these methods so first you need to go to my uh, block and copy all the code all right so I hope you can only you just need to create this folder you are ready to go in the next tutorial we will uh, we will discuss about how to use these repository methods all right we we will also discuss how to create our own repository so that we can make any we can make any changes into that all right so we will call this uh, these repository in, in next tutorial so thank you very much for watching and have a great day Thank you.